we would go to this new place called Applebee's. I know. And we would do that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Dexter, we would go every, was it Wednesday or Thursday? But the, the, the whole concept was that we would meet once a week at Applebee's and we would have um, these breaded cheese mozzarella sticks, breaded mozzarella sticks and root beer because we weren't old enough to drink. Um, but what made the, the, the experience the experience was at that point in time, you could still smoke inside. And so Dexter and I um, kind of wanted to be like his cousin Caesar who uh, uh, smoked a tobacco pipe, right? And so um, Dexter and I, now I want you to picture this. We, we have these high top fades and, um, and wire rim glasses with a little sweater vest. And um, and I said the wire, not, not just wire rim, but the ones with the, the butterfly wings kind of thing. So we look like bugs. And, um, and we're also, we're, we're 18. And we're smoking tobacco pipes in the restaurant. Kind of crazy looking. But we thought it was cool, right? Because Caesar was doing it. So we wanted to be kind of like Caesar. And so we were following kind of Caesar's footsteps. And so um, we would go to Applebee's and we'd meet there once a week and uh, we would bring our tobacco pipes. And, and, and it was really funny because Dexter would call me and say, Andre, remember your pipe. And so, you know, I, I, I had a little pipe bag and I packed it in there and, and you know, so I, I take that you know, with me as we went different places. But every time, you know, every other time I would remember to bring it. I kept forgetting to bring it. Now, um, if I'm not mistaken, and, and Caesar, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong, you still use your tobacco pipe, if I'm not mistaken. I, however, do not. Now, this isn't a moral judgment on, on anyone, but it is um, a, a conversation about our pattern of behavior. I don't smoke a tobacco pipe today, mostly because it did not become a habit. I also don't go to Applebee's every Wednesday or Thursday either. That's not a habit either. So what is a habit? I mean, are, 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 are smokers, anybody know smokers? Are, are smokers born with Marlboro lights hanging off the end of their, their lip as the babies and they go, and a little cigarette and the ash is falling on? Does that happen? Are, are smokers born smokers? My answer is no. They have what? Learn to be smokers. So, so what is a, a, a habit? A habit is a learned pattern of behavior that has become automatic. Now, I hear tell of, you know, if you do something for 30 days or 31 days or for a, a number of hours that that, that thing becomes uh, a habit. And, and what I like to, to say is that anything that you do on a regular basis that becomes important to you becomes a habit. Thinking a certain way can be a habit. Acting a certain way can be a habit. It's those things that you find value in that you do on a regular basis that become habits. Now, I, I, I think habits are very interesting, and I like that definition of it being a learned pattern of behavior that becomes automatic. And why, as a teacher, am I excited when I think about habits being learned pattern of be, patterns of behavior? Because if it's a learned pattern of behavior, it is something that you can unlearn and relearn a new behavior. Now, the interesting thing about, about habits and, and why it's difficult to change habits is, um, is that people forget one of the basic premises of, of a habit, right? Um, habits are designed to make your life easier. They're designed to make your life easier. And the interesting thing is that people will stop doing a habit but won't replace that habit with something else. And I often tell this story or ask this question in my class. What is in a hole that's three feet deep? The answer is nothing or it wouldn't be a hole. The other part of that though is if you have a hole that's open and you don't fill it with something, the universe will fill it with whatever is available. I mean, have you ever looked in a pothole, for example, right? Um, we're in one of those seasons where potholes are pretty prevalent. 
And what, what is supposed to be in, in a pothole? It's supposed to be filled with uh, cement or tar or asphalt. Those are the things that are supposed to be in the pothole. But oftentimes what you find is, is water and rocks and Doritos bags and cigarette butts and all of these things. Because there's a gaping hole that has not been filled, the universe finds ways and things to fill it with. So when we talk about your, your habits and, and changing your habits, we know that it's a learned pattern of behavior that's become automatic. And that if we want to change our habits, we have to replace that habit with something else. My, uh, my Uncle Rick uh, quit smoking, and the way he quit smoking was that he said, I'm, I'm not going to buy any more cigarettes, These, you know, this is not something I want to do, and so what he did was he replaced cigarettes with toothpicks. You will never catch my uncle without a toothpick, because he's given up smoking. So he replaced an old habit with, with a, a new and better habit, something that, that's helping him to reach his goal. Now, he's not quite delivered, but we'll, we'll get to that part later. All right? So, so to, to, to change a habit, to, to replace it with something, you have to start with something even more basic than that. And you have to start with a routine. Your routines make good habits. We'll talk about routines in just a bit. I'm Andre Cohen. Till next time.